recorded this first part but then because it was outside it's like excessively loud and you can't really hear me even with this um the sounds being cleaned so here we go hi my name is Muthoni. welcome to my channel and all i was saying is today we are going to be making a balcony sofa and then decorating the balcony okay cool so let's get into it so um, for this one, because it's a sofa made out of pallets, I used three pallets. These were pallets that I had from my other house. So I only took three. I gave out the others. So the first thing I did was clear out the area just to make sure I had enough space to work with. And then it was time to get down and get dirty. Okay. So the first thing that I wanted to do was to cut the, that piece of wood that's holding that first plant to the second one. Um, that would make some space, but I only cut it on both ends, but I didn't cut the middle part. You'll see why later on. And only do this with one board, and this is a board that's going to be on top, which is the one you're going to put the cushion on, technically the one you're sitting on, okay? So you'll do that, you see? Leave that gap, and then do that to the other side as well. And be. I use, this is a jigsaw. This is on I used. If you have a hacksaw, it can also work, but it will just take a bit more energy, so, you know conserve your energy or get someone else to do it for you okay <laughs> so what you want is you want to be left with space on both ends of this particular palette and this is going to be like at the back where the back of the palette the part where you put your back on is going to be technically inserted into you'll see later on okay so after I did that the next step was to sand the palettes i sanded all of my palettes um i was lucky enough to get this particular sander from nick as a birthday present and you can tell it's coming in handy and then after that i cleaned up that area because it was super dusty and then i assembled the the bottom of the chair putting the part that i had cut off to face the back, to be next to the wall, technically, not face the back. Then this is the, the piece that I'm making into a back. And with this one, what you want to do is like almost the reverse of what she did. You want to cut the middle part, but instead of cutting it like um, at the edge, you're going to cut like above the bow, <laughs> like still the same space. But then this time around, you're not making space. You're just cutting off that bit like that. And then you are going to need to pry the wood out. Okay, so here I am trying to tell you that I didn't have anything to use. So I was using these large screwdrivers that Nick got me for my birthday as well because he's the main. Here is the prying. This is the hard part. You have to be very patient with this part because if you're not patient, it's very easy to um, break your wood. And if you break the wrong piece, then you're going to mess up your entire piece so just be very careful and then after you've done it carefully you will pry out or remove that top bit you'll be left with a piece of wood that is like hanging technically this is what you're left with like it's hard to feel these things at least you can see them right so that's what you're left with you see now these two long pieces on the sides are gonna go into that space you created genius and then the one that you cut in the middle because you didn't cut the middle one in the one that's below once you put this in it's gonna sit on it so support wait well, it's not just sinking the whole way but you get the point see 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 see, see. support 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 so once you put that you're technically done assembling and then what i did is i went in and just wiped everything down because it was very dusty after doing the sanding i wiped it with a wet cloth then after the wiping the next thing was to use some spray can i used a spray can to a black spray paint to just fill in some bits that i felt needed a bit more painting on them initially i was gonna paint it gray but then i decided to just keep it black and give it a clear coat to seal it into place and did you i hope you could hear the air quotes to seal <laughs> to seal the the paint that way if it rains or anything the wood won't get damaged because the water won't be able to seep into the wood see that's the particular brand that i'm using so it's a clear paint the other one was black because i wanted to just fill in some gaps here and there until i was satisfied okay so the next thing is to spray 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 and then you know spray some more until you are satisfied or you run out of spray paint whichever comes first okay <laughs>
after you are done spraying what you're going to do is you're going to let it dry then after that you're ready to assemble so what i did is i went in with the cushions that i had from the previous house i used this lesser that i'm not using anymore but then the plan is to actually make it into cushion covers and then my pillows this ones i made myself again and then just assemble and put things where you feel like you want to put them add some trinkets here and there then after that what i did is i decided to push it all the way against the wall in case it rains the water won't get to it okay that's why i pushed it that way to the furthest corner and then after that it was time to put together you know everything else and make the balcony this side of the balcony at least to look pretty so here we go I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and do that as well. And be here for the next video and to see who's going to be the next post notification shout out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do anything that's close to what I've done, please make sure you tag me so that I can see your creations. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Have yourself a lovely evening, a lovely day, a lovely night, depending on the time that you're watching this. Bye!